Hello everyone, um, my name is Mtale. Um, we've come back here today to uh, continue on voter education. And uh, today we're looking at uh, judging candidates. How can we judge and put the right candidates in the right positions? So this is an advice to the audience, the citizens of Zambia. You know, elections present voters with the important choices. Whether it is local race that will affect your community or a national race that would uh, could change the direction of the country, it is a time to consider the issues which you care about and decide which candidate you support. How do voters go about comparing that, uh, the, the, uh, comparing and then judging candidates? This is the question we're going to try to answer today. Um, there are several steps that we can take to consider in trying to judge these candidates. Uh, the first one we're going to look at decide what you are looking for in a candidate. The second one will be find out about the candidate. Uh, then gather material about the candidate. Evaluate candidate standards stands on issues. Learn about the candidate's leadership ability. Learn about uh, how people view the same candidates you are looking at. Uh, how do they view? So this is the um, the outline I'm just going to look at for us to start looking at how best we can do to put the right candidates in the right positions. So step number one, we are saying decide what you are looking for in a candidate. Candidates can be judged in two ways. The position they take on issues and the leadership qualities and the experience they would bring to the office. Both are important. Your first step in picking up a candidate is to decide the issue you care about and qualities you want in a leader. Those are the, the main thing you should no, need to look at. When you consider issues, think about the community or national problem that you want people in government to address. For example, government funding for student loans or teenage unemployment. So one of these could be the major issues that you want or both of them could be the major issues. So you want to start judging these candidates looking at what you got. These are issues. When you consider um, leadership qualities, think about the characteristics you want in an, in an active leader. Do you look for intelligence? honesty and ability to communicate so every time you have to go around those things for you to start to make a decision on these candidates who are running for the office step two is just a matter of finding out about the candidates how do you find out find you know first find out which candidates are running in in in, in the race by going to rallies by going to campaign events by going to uh, to listen to the radio, watch the TV, uh, and all that, newspapers, then you try to start knowing who is running, and that will lead to finding out about the candidate. And then step three is gather materials about the candidates. Put together a library of information about candidates, collect any information you can find on the candidates call campaign headquarters and watch the press, you know, listen to the radio, to TV, listen to the candidates' speeches, candidates' debates. You know, in a local race, interviews with the, with the candidates can be helpful for incumbent. A lot of, um, a lot of their voting records on issues that you, you have listed as important can tell you the candidate's position on those issues. So if there's already somebody, you will be able to tell, say, no, this guy has been doing ABCD, is is there now, what can he come and do something different when he comes? So we have to look at uh, those areas. Step four, evaluate candidate's stance on issues. As you read the materials you collect, keep a record. Do the, mater uh, do the materials uh, give you an overall impression of the candidates? What specific conclusions uh, can you draw about the candidate's stance on issues? Fill in the candidate's report card and you gather new information. Keep looking because you are trying to answer questions based on what you believe in.
and that's what you want those candidates you want to choose to do the exact the thing that you believe can change and shape the future step five learn about the candidates leadership abilities decide if a candidate will be a good leader because that is difficult to know you know how can you know if uh, someone will be honest open or able to uh, act under pressure if elected to office here are some of the maybe the uh, the things that i can try to put out to help you look at the candidates background and their experience how well prepared are they for the job observe the candidates campaigns do they accept a speaking engagement before different groups even those groups uh, that might not be uh, sympathetic do they accept invitations to, to debate? Do their campaigns emphasize media, event where the candidates can be seen but not heard? Review the campaign materials as you read the materials about watch and watch the campaign develop. Add to the candidates you no know, uh, report, report card that you are you are, you are trying to gather. You know, it's important to look into all these things and start making the right decisions about these candidates. You know, and uh, what else can I say? For example, do a, do a campaign material emphasize issues on or just images? Are they are they accurate or those uh, campaign art? When look at number six, this, this is the time that you learn about uh, uh, how other people view the candidates that you are looking at. Now that you have uh, accumulated information from campaigns and other sources, you want to learn what other people think about the candidates. Their opinion can help to uh, clarify your own views, but do not discount your own views. Because there might be the well-informed judgment that you've made. You know, it's important to look at that. Seek the um, opinions of others in your community. Go to market, go to every other places where you feel you can get information uh, from different kind of people so that you are able to combine the hearsay and what you already know. You know, it's important to look at such things like that. Look into campaign contributions. Where do they, you know, candidates get the, the funds to finance their campaigns. That will tell you more about these kind of candidates. It's important to look into this and try to listen from others as well. Step five is, I would just say that, like, sort it out. You know, review the information in your candidates re uh, report card and compare all the candidates. Ask, you, or ask yourself these final questions, you know, like, which candidates, uh, which candidates' views on the issues do you agree with the most, for example? Who ran the, uh, the fairness campaign? Which candidate demonstrated the most knowledge on the issues you were looking at? Which candidate has leadership qualities you are looking for? Is, uh, is the choice clear? If so, pick the candidate. Pick the candidate. You know, it's important to always try to be in a situation where you are always wondering, trying to find out more about this. Now, the, the, the other issue that I would talk about is how to evaluate these candidates. Yeah. You know, evaluation, evalu evaluate candidates' use of, uh, let's say, for example, they are using the television. More and more people tend, uh, tune into television for their main source of information. Television is a, is a visual medium dependent on good pictures and timely events to tag at your emotions and keep your interest. Candidates are aware of the potential power of television and try to use it to their advantage. For instance, in a new cast, the picture you see of a crowd with the banners and balloons cheering the candidates, uh, tagged by the media advisor, all these are kind of, you know, they, they are look good kind of pictures, but do they review the issues you stand for? They, do they, as you watch news coverage of campaign, 
beware of uh, staged events and they try to find out what the candidates uh, the candidate is saying about the issues when you watch political ads you need to be aware of how the media influences your your reaction ask yourself some questions as as you watch did you um, find out anything about issues or qualifications or was the ad designed only